Moss Group first came to Lincoln and, and we showed our opposition at that particular time. And in a sense, you feel as though nothing much has changed. Lincoln is, a, I think, a fascist-free zone, but during the period of time, the council are moving forward with the Muslim and Islamic community in order to deliver a mosque in our city. I don't know why the group in the East Anglian Patriots are coming back here, because we made our position very clear back in June, and I know that it's not changed. And I don't think, in a sense, I could do better than the headline in the Lincolnshire Echo this week, which said, stay away. We don't want people here. That clear message can be put from the people here, and I think the rest of the Lincolnshire community, stay away. Since then, though, you know, there's been a, a, the outcome of the county elections back in May, when p parties that I certainly don't support, far-right parties, have gained prominence. Back in 2005, Lincolnshire was likely to have some problems in Boston with far-right group, the British National Party, and us on the county council, leaders of political parties, drew up a, a manifesto that said, we are in favour of tolerance, mutual respect, and ask all the party leaders to sign it. That went ahead in 2005, so I thought it was a good idea to bring it back in 2013, given the advent and support for UKIP in, in the recent elections. All the parties except one, and I think you can guess which party that was, decided to support our position on a multiracial community, our view about tolerance, our view about respect for people, our view about religious freedom. One particular party didn't, that's UKIP. The words of the then leader of UKIP were very simple. If you want something on equal opportunities, I'll get my lawyer to draft something for you. Now that's not the approach that should be taken. Councillors together, and I heard actually while John was speaking, a guy at the back, when John was criticising bankers, he was also a guy at the back said, and what about corrupt councillors? What about corrupt politicians? Well, most politicians, and I'd say nearly all of them, try to do the decent thing. It was councillors that passed the resolution accepting the planning application for the mosque, and I think that was the right thing to do, and I think that should be going ahead and will be going ahead. A final point, very simply, is thanks to everybody that has come as part of the march, thanks to the, the people of Lincoln who didn't form part of the march, but they're here to hear our message.